With the recent Grand Fest Big Run, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and rate every single Grisco weapon ever. And if y'all like this video, I might rank every single boss ever. Yeah, anyways, here's the tiers, and yeah, let's get started. Starting off here with the Grisco Blaster, and this weapon, I think this is genuinely the best weapon I've ever played. It shoots well, it plays well, it damages well, like it does everything you need a weapon to do. This is instant X tier. Like this is actually the, this is genuinely one of the best weapons I've ever touched in Splatoon history. It's getting X tier, no matter what. This weapon plays sort of like the Grisco Blaster, but also at the same time, not really. I like it though, because, you know, it's still a fun weapon to play. It's not, you know, bad like a weapon we're about to get to in a little bit. It's a pretty fun weapon, so we're going to give it S tier. Yeah, it's just a good weapon all around. This is the type of weapon I don't particularly hate, but I also don't really like that much either. It's just one of those weapons I don't really mind. It's not a bad weapon at all, it's just not good at the other two I talked about before. Like, it's just mid, you know, like... It's not mid mid, but it's mid. Like it's pretty bad, but not that bad. It's just annoying. With it. It's just annoying to play. But yeah, before we continue, this is really early in the video, but this is gonna be a short video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, before we continue, I wanna remind you, I got a Discord server because it's kind of dead. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing exclusive events in there in soon, like on stream, like exclusive events like only people in the Discord can do, can join. So yeah. If you're going to be in a future video, then you can join the Discord server and subscribe to the channel because we're 60% away to 100k and I want it. 100k? What the f***? We're 60% away from 1,000 and I really want to get there. But yeah, we're basically halfway through the video, so you, you had like me yap out like the first few weapons anyways. Alright, let's go. Let's keep going. The Grisco Duels are probably one of the bit weapons I've barely touched. Like, or not even played at all. I played like, I think I played like one time in total. The dodge rolls are pretty insane, but it's, uh, you know, it's like something you would just expect from Grisco at this point. Like, every weapon is OP, basically. Like, literally almost every weapon. I can only name one weapon <laughs> that is OP. We're gonna give this one C to you. Because it's not that bad. And this is the weapon I can name that's not overpowered. This weapon, I could actually genuinely write an entire three-page essay on why I don't like this weapon. It shoots so slow to the point where it just literally just makes you feel like a little slow. Like, it doesn't even feel OP at all. Like, most weapons are supposed to feel OP because it's Grisco. It's just so slow. Like, you're literally sitting there. You're the opposite of Turbo. You're just a normal, regular slug, and you're sitting there. Imagine you're shooting the gun, right? All right, no, let's go, go, go. Imagine you're a slug, right? You know, you're just walking, you know, about to reach your destination. Someone picks you up, right? They pick you up, and they put you back to where you started. That's what it feels like every single time you shoot a Grisco Slasher. It's literally so bad, bro. This weapon had to be, like, forged. It, like, Grisco and Sheldon or whoever was cooking with him had to be in the deepest, darkest pits of hell to form this weapon, bro. Like, it's actually so trash, bro. This is an actual abomination it's literally f tier there's literally no worse than this bro and here we go the mid weapons just literally just keep on coming i don't like this weapon either it's not that bad but still pretty bad it's not as bad as the abomination we just talked about i don't have much to say about this weapon because i haven't played it much more than a few matches but i don't like splatanas at all so i don't like this weapon either it can be a d tier Now, this weapon also is just kind of mid to me, but it's not that bad. Like, it paints well, it shoots well, and yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, but I don't like stringers, so it's not something I play. Like, I just, you know, I'd, I'd prefer, you know, like a Grisco Blaster or something, not, you know, this or the Grisco Slosher, especially I hate the Grisco Slosher. But yeah, it can get C tier. And now we're on to the final weapon. I told y'all this video is going to be quick. We're going to get this out quick, quick, quick. The Grisco Roller. This weapon is actually, you know, pretty cool. It's just pretty hard to control that time. I personally do not mind it, and it's really fun rolling through a bunch of salmonoids when you aren't falling off the map. There's just one thin part of the map. I don't even know if I have footage of it, 
steps okay yeah thanks for going off phone i don't even know how footage of it but i literally rolled off that part like three times in a row using this roller, using that roller like it's insane how fast it goes but yeah it can get seen <clears throat> and with that every single grist weapon has been ranged let me know what you want to see next and if you like why not go ahead and subscribe i mean like like i said earlier we're 60 percent to 1k just press that button hit my day that rhymed right it helps me out like a lot and yeah join the discord server and you'll be a part of future videos but yeah that's all i got for y'all see you all in the next video bye bye which will be soon i swear i'm up with a weekly starting now